What up, y'all? Y'all ready for the finale of Sukaden 3, baby? Oh, yeah. And if you're worried about the 108 Stars of Destiny thing, uh, spoiler alert, it's a post-game thing. So, gotta beat the game to get there. Alrighty then, let's beat the game today, guys. Luke, your delusional bullshit is bullshit, and we're gonna put a stop to the whole thing. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Let's throw down. Qui indeed, my friend. Qui indeed. Yeah, this is it. Here we go, Luke. Lucopotamus. So, you don't understand me at all. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll repeat it as long as it takes you for under takes for you to understand. I won't forgive you. Then stop me! Block the power of the true rune! Oh yeah? Block a block a block a block a block a uh What's this? What's this? This temple is already filled with the power of the five elemental runes. It's powerful enough to s now to merge with my soul and cast its curse on the outside world. Okay. That doesn't sound too good. Well then, you guys ready for this? Final battle on the horizon. What's it gonna be? Whoa! Big fucking surprise, am I right? Another goddamn rune dragon. Could have called that one from a million miles away, I know. From a million miles away. Alright, let's let it sink in. Final battle. Here we are. That's a lot of different wings for one dragon. And, as usual with the final boss of a Sukaden game, you got the little rune crystals also there. And if you look at the little rune symbols on them, and you can tell by the names, we got the lightning rune, the fire rune, the water rune, and the earth rune. And yes, they all have their own HP and own things that they like to do. So, the way we're going to go about this is we're going to take those runes out one at a time. One at a time, baby. One at a time. So, two of them are most annoying because the water rune will obviously heal, but the lightning rune likes to protect the water rune. So, we're going to go for those bitches first. So, lightning rune, you're going down first. Um, we can pretty much do whatever I feel like doing here. I'm not even worried about it. Um, I'm going to use the true lightning rune as soon as the lightning rune is dead. Let's go ahead and use the true Earth Rune to start this off so we can actually be safe from magic. Canopy defense is very good. Um, and then as for this crew, probably just going to go ahead and go for it, huh? Yeah, let's just, let's just go for that Lightning Rune. I'm going to take the Lightning Rune out first, I think. It's probably a smart idea. We should be able to kill it relatively fast with how good Hugo is. And if not, well then, the Water Rune will heal it and then we'll be pissed. But the canopy defense will be very nice to help us not get hurt by magic. Very useful early in this battle when all the runes are still alive. But once you start taking those runes out, you won't need to defend from so much magic, obviously. And of course, I'm not even talking about it, but that wind dragon's got wind magic for days, so... Prepare for that. Okay, you're already going to use a water run. What are you doing? Don't heal. Don't heal. That doesn't look like a healing move anyways. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's a defensive one build up like an ice wall. Okay. He casted Reflect. Or no, 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 he didn't. No, he didn't. We reflected it off with our canopy defense. Sorry. It just occurred to me why that Reflect happened. Never mind. Kill the Lightning Rune. Wait, I think I just did. Yes, the Lightning Rune's already dead. Good, good, good. Okay, Water Rune, you are next. That's a good sign that we took out the, the, the uh, Lightning Rune on the first turn. I like that. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to go ahead and cast Canopy Defense again. Probably going to need to heal as well. But at least we took out the motherfucking water, or the Lightning Rune. Now the Water Rune will be next. Hugo, you already know what to do, sir. Water Rune is next. Alright. This crew... Hmm, should I heal this turn? Or should I use Canopy Defense again? You know, I'm going to Canopy Defense again. And then I'm going to let... Uh, 
Does he cast water pretty fast? He does, right? Like, he casts it on the turn of... If I have her cast Kindness Rain... Well, it'll happen right away, though. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. I, I want to be on the safe side. Make sure everybody gets hit by this healing. If we hit Hugo, it'll hit everyone. So let's hope this hits everybody. I want to be on the safe side here. We gotta keep it on our HP early because of how many things can hit us, and then focus on what will get his ass kicked later. Play defense early on to keep your HP high. Don't let too many things knock your HP down. In the meantime, just let Hugo and Fubar do their fucking work. That's how they fucking roll. That water rune is probably almost dead already. Let's hope it doesn't heal itself. I'm not sure if the water rune is capable of reviving the other runes. I hope not. Because that would suck ass. Either way, the water rune needs to go next. For sure. So let's hope we can get rid of it. Before too much damage is done. Or damage is healed up, I should say. Keep your fire rune out of it. Ow. Owie, uh, that doesn't hit everybody, does it? It just hits the area. At least that's what it looks like. Good lord. Oh no, that definitely hit everybody, but luckily I have Reflect, so suck it. Suck it real good. Earthquake! Ow. Now, what do you got for me, Wind Rune, bitch? Oh, did Sazerai just die? Did Sazerai just die? Sazerai! Bro! Bro! You let me down, bro! Bro, bro! Am I not gonna beat this on the first try? Lame sauce. Alright, I'm gonna use the lightning rune on Mr. Uh, wind rin rin um, rein Reincarnation. The Wind Rune in Reincarnation. That's what it stands for. Um, that's for Chris and... Uh, Let's get rid of that damn water rune, damn it. Kill it now! There it is. Goodbye, water rune. Nice. Awesome. I should be attacking the other runes first, but whatever. I'm pretty sure you can kill the wind dragon in the meantime. You don't have to kill the runes first. It's just a smart idea, too, since they like to do a lot of chip damage. Did I ever show this spell on screen, by the way? Hammer Brygen? I might have. If I did it, here it is again. It's a pretty good ass lightning spell, I gotta say. I'm a fan. Oh, it only does one damage though. Fuck my life. Is that because wind is good against lightning? Is that what it is? Don't kill Chris. Ooh, I thought she was gonna die for a second there. She might die this turn though if I'm oh, shit. He's gonna hit all. She might die. What are you doing? No, stop it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it! It's probably not gonna end well, is it? I am probably gonna have to do this battle a second time. Yep. It is looking more and more like that. It might be a thing that's gonna happen right now. This battle may have, have a part, uh, a second attempt, because of how terrible it has gone. Ah, uh, Sazerai, why you gotta die, man? Why you gotta die, man? Ah, oh, man. Fucking ghetto, so dead. Whatever, man. Sergeant Joe's still alive? Wait. I thought Sergeant Joe was dead. Only Chris was dead. Oh, shit. Didn't even really occur to me that she was still alive. Or he was still alive. I'm gonna laugh if I can still pull this out. I'm, I am going to laugh. If anything, it'll feel more epic if I pull this out without destroying this guy. Because I'm pretty sure if I were to use my Emily crew, we would have just destroyed with straight up kick assery and Sazerai would not have been a factor, but I wanted to do this all epic story-wise and use the fucking other runes, you know what I mean? Alright, well, we're gonna need to heal this turn. Um, yeah. Wait, you can't heal? I guess it's gonna heal them both, I hope. And as for him, just give her that earth rune and call it a day. Call it a day. Yeah, okay, that heals both of them. Good, good, good. I might be able to win this with just Fubar and Hugo by themselves. If I can get them to live through these attacks, I might be able to handle this with just them. That'd be pretty sick if I could do that. Because Ghetto just died right there. My main concern right now, I gotta get rid of this damn Earth Rune. Gotta get rid of it. What is he doing? Defense? 
defense or something? I'm doing a defense move, bitch. Stop it. I guess he did like, I guess that was a defensive move. I don't know. But anyway, let's get rid of that Earth Rune and call this a fucking one on one with the Great One. Did I get him? No, he lived. Fuck. Really? That's irritating. That bitch does not want to die. Man, I'm upset right now. I am upset that I'm going to lose this. Well, I, I, it's not a guarantee that I'm going to lose yet. But it's looking very much... It's, it's trending toward a loss right now, that's for sure. We need to kill this guy right now. Right now, right now. Alright, there, there, there. There he goes. Yeah, wait, no. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, we got him. We got him. Okay. For a second, I, I got worried that he wasn't going to be dead. But he did. Alright, so now we just got to survive this attack. Can we survive? Yep, we're good. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna heal and we're gonna be good. We got this. As long as the fucking wind bitch doesn't take out take me out with some crazy move, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. Bitch. Alright. And not only do we get our attacks in, we also get to heal. Hugo and Fubar are an unstoppable duo that will never be stopped. They can't be stopped. Just won't quit. Can't stop, won't stop, Rockefeller Records, baby. They can get down, baby. They can get down. I might actually heal them again. Were they out on HP? Fuck it. Heal them again. They get to attack when they heal anyways. Fuck it. Fucking Fubar still has two Jizzos. This battle is over. Fuck you, Wind Reincarnation. You're gonna wish you had your little fucking backup runes now. We are gonna win this with just Hugo and Fubar. This is an epic win already. I like it. This kind of feels like Final Battle, like, oh yeah? You can kill my whole party, but you can't kill me. It feels a lot like my Sukuda days of old when I would accidentally let my whole party die, but yet the hero of Sukuda 2 can pretty much carry the team by himself because he's so badass. Ryu is badass. Just saying. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Boom, bitch. Oh my god, so much damage. Eat a dick, Wind Dragon. Wait, what? Did I get him? Looks like I got him. Or is he doing a wind attack? I can't tell the difference. No, it looks like I got him. Well then. That's one way to beat the game. Hugo and Fubar. Epic win, friends. For the win. Yeah. It's over, bitch. Yes. After all, I too am bound by destiny. Destiny? Who are you kidding? I won't let you leave like this. Too much blood and too many tears have fallen. Who's growling at me? Oh, it might be an earthquake. Never mind. I thought you guys were all dead. What happened? Only, shouldn't only Fubar be alive? Qui indeed, my friend. Qui indeed. Come on, Hugo, run! Not yet. We have to get him. Wait, what? What do you mean, get him? Like, bring him with us or kill him? Make sure he dies. After all, all that you said to his face, you're gonna save Luke after all that? Are you crazy, man? Are you crazy? It seems to always happen. The final dungeon, whatever it may be, and Sukaden, it always has to crumble at the end. We can't stay any longer. Let's go. Luke, what say you, good sir? What say you? You go walk slowly. Just gonna leave him there, huh? All right, well, I'm just gonna leave him there, I guess. Alrighty then. Luke shall stay right there. Quee indeed. 
That's right. So let's go. We're all going home. All right. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Run, Thomas, run! There's just no time to stop and take a breather, bro. Master Thomas, hurry! It's gonna collapse! Whew. Oh my, I must be out of shape. You go on ahead without me, Cecile. Wait, what? Really? That's where you're gonna go? Yeah, right, that's gonna happen. You can't be serious! Hurry up! You are the master of Orange Castle, aren't you? You can't give up! I suppose not. But being a bitch. Now why are you just standing there, dummy? Well then, get moving! I won't leave you behind! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Thomas. Oh, he's such a non-fighter. Oh god, Frederico. Hey Frederico, how you doing? Damn, I don't think this place will hold much longer. Let's get going, Rico. Sorry, his voice was deeper, wasn't it? Yes, Master. That's right. Back off. Fred Master Flex, baby. Fred Master Flex. Oh shit. Rico, no. What are you doing, Rico? Come on. Get your ass up. Sorry, Master. Oh, oh. He was going to leave you behind. Yeah, that was going to happen. What's, what's she doing? Oh, oh no! Wait, what? What's she what? What now, Rico? Hurry! Oh no, it's gone! The badge, it's gone! The badge? Oh, there it is! Don't think you're gonna go get that. What are you doing? Leave it be! No, I won't! It proves that I'm the apprentice of Master Fred of the Maximilian Knights. I'll give you another one later. Let's move. I want this one. It's a memento of the first time I met you. <laughs> Fred's like, God damn it. Why do I have to be so awesome? <laughs> Rico, don't do this to me. Okay, fine, you win. You wait here. I'll go get it for you. Yes, master. Oh, God. Okay. Well, then. Fucking Frederico over here. Frederico. All right. What's everybody else doing? Just waiting around. Why the fuck is that? This is a random-ass cutscene to have. Where, where's everybody else who's a storyline character, huh? Huh? I mean, I guess little Apple is one of them. Ms. Apple, it's getting dangerous here, so please evacuate. We'll take care of the rest. I appreciate your concern, but I'll keep to my word and wait here, thank you. But they might not make it back. You're young and inexperienced, don't worry. They'll be back. How do you know, miss? I'm old enough to know when people are honorable. You don't look that old. I mean, you may look nerdy, don't get me wrong, but you don't look old. Then again, she is pretty young and so good. Okay, now what? Waves and waves of monsters. Good ones. Just fucking great. Damn, are they ever gonna stop coming? There are too many of them, Fuba. Can you do something about this? Queen indeed, baby. Queen indeed. That means no, huh? Fubar can't lift us all out of here. No way. Didn't need everybody anyways. It should have just been me and Fubar. Fuck, everybody else was a waste of time. It's not that far to the exit, so let's not give up. I promise Chief Lucia I'd look after you and... And what? I miss Chief Lucia's home-cooked food already. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> now I'm hungry too. Let's get back home and eat till we explode. Yeah, see, this scene only happens if you have Hugo, Fubar, and Duck. Duckman. The other three people obviously don't matter at all because they're the only three that talk to each other. 
funny to have Ghetto, Sazerai, and Chris's afterthoughts in a cutscene like this, but oh well. Damn, not again! Sergeant, let's go! Let's go! Gonna kick some ass, gonna kick some ass, yo! Let's kick some ass, yo. Alright, apparently we're just back at the fucking house. That's cool. Or is this where everybody else is waiting? I don't know, man. Anyway, it looks like everybody survived, because there's Hugo. Yo, 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 Hugo! Everybody lived, everybody wins, we kick some ass, yo. Hey, Hugo, have you finished packing? Yes, I didn't have much to pack anyways. I know it's only been a few months, but I've got Wonderlust already. Beecham, you don't sound very enthusiastic about going back to and rebuilding the village. It's still too early to retire, you know. <laughs> I see your point. Alright. Oh, hello. Chief Lucia, can I have a minute with you? Of course, we have time. We have all the time in the world. All the time. That's funny? No, it can't be. What? What? What's funny? What's funny? Hey, Hugo! Oops, I mean, Flame Champion Hugo! You saved the grasslands. Maybe someone will write an epic poem about you. Is his name Sergeant Joe? Flame Champion. I wanted to be a hero so that I could protect people. I've learned that this can be done by anyone. This can be done by anyone? It can? Are you sure about that? I don't know about all that, bro. When the true fire rune showed me the memories of my predecessor, Funky G, I thought I wasn't fit to be the champion. Sure, it takes a lot for a person to maintain the memories of someone else's life. You're too young for such a thing. Uh-huh. Is it uncomfortable to be labeled a hero, Hugo? I don't know, is it? Yeah, so I've learned. I've had enough attention for now. I suppose so. Problem is, I still hold a grudge against you, even though I know it's not the way of a hero should act. I understand. It's normal for a young boy to hold a grudge. Even though you're a hero, you're still a boy. Call me when you get older, though. As Lucia noted, we never know when our paths will cross again. Maybe it'll be in a town or a battlefield. I extend my best wishes and good luck to you in all your endeavors. God, my Chris voice has been so inconsistent in this playthrough. He's like, no, no, no. Handshake? You wish, girl. Hugger. This is the sexing way of saying farewell. Please do not take offense. Aw, oh, lame. On occasion. Oh, I get it. On occasion. He takes offense. Hugo, we are leaving! Yep, I'm coming. Chris, can you lean forward a little for me? What? Nice. He went in for the hug. Nice. I asked the spirits to be with my rival and comrade. Keep her well until we meet again. There you go. Oh, what a happily ever after moment that is. I did not remember that hug. Well then. This is a grassland style farewell. Alright? See you, Chris. Sorry. Done talking?
Yep, all through. Okay, let's go. First we'll reconstruct our village. Then Hugo, you'll need a lot of training to become my successor. Uh, I hope you haven't decided to make me chief just yet. You are the flame champion. Who else can become the next chief, Hugo? <laughs> Don't ask. Just listen to your mother. Good luck with the training. Damn it. <laughs> queen indeed. Queen indeed. Mm -hmm. All right. Well then. I believe that does it for our hero Hugo and the end of his adventures through the world of Sukoden and Grasslands and whatnot. We did it, guys. We did it. We beat it the game. Now what? Are we at the credits yet, or do we have more cutscenes to live through? Can we get some credits up in this bitch? There we go. Well, anyway, here's the normal, uh, let's, let's read it. Revive, revives Cry Village, seizes the chief, comes a bridge, returns to Duck Village, and remarries his ex. Whoa. Anyway, Fubar lives with Hugo. Lucia, she yields her position and moves to Danon. So she moved back to the to, to the Joseon area. She asks by Lucia to stay as Chief Hugo's lieutenant, and Luce mothers all the children. Dupe is the chief of the lizard lizard clan, faces the Zexin on front lines. When the fighting ends, Shiva gets married, and Vazba just becomes a guard. Just stays as stays as a fucking warrior. Wilder makes his living as a grassland guide, and Rhett is a member of the Zexan Archaeological Association, and he specializes in ancient ritual sites. That's weird. Peggy stays at Orange Castle, and stays a blacksmith, and becomes... She owns a shop in Karaya. Okay. And then uh, Twykin, he goes back to the Great Hollow and continues to fucking mine. Dominic keeps his Orange Castle at Orange... or keeps his shop at Orange Castle. Shizu... Uh... So she goes off on a journey, okay. Mel goes out on a journey to go to Branky's hometown. Okay, that's weird. And Mommy goes to another uh, land or whatever. Lily goes back to Tinto, then goes to Harmonia. And uh, she's already on the way. <laughs> Reed following Lily, and of course... Oh, and <laughs> of course, Samus is like, fuck that, I ain't gonna work with her no more. So she goes back to, he goes back to work... <laughs> he goes back to work with Marlo, who's another Sukunin 2 character by the way. Alright. Get a nice little screen here. And here's Chris's. She gains fame for her service as the captain of the knights. So Lewis is her attendant and eventually gets knighted. And Salami stays as the lieutenant. Because that's... He's our fucking... He's our advisor, man. Leo is true to his nickname. Iron Leo gives 100%. He's axing in the Zex and Tinto border clashes. Okay. Percival goes back to Ixay. Rejoins the knights again, and his swords and skills never got rusty. And Boris, always at the front of the Zex and Tinto battles. Roland, always loyal to Chris, cool-headed as fuck. Committed the Zex and service to the end. All right. Uh, Fred off on a journey, and Rico right in tow. Scott, he's looking for new trades, so he goes to the West Continent. Ernie joins the Archaeological Association, discovers secret Zex and ritual script. Okay, that's cool. Mike leaves Orange Castle never goes away. Augustine hears rumors of the beautiful place of Toran, and he sits off to find it. Oh, that's cool. He's probably going to go find uh, Vincent de Baal or uh, Millich. Anyway, Gordon is an am <laughs> Silly. Uh, okay, he still works at the castle. The last guy, Jefferson. Halek. He goes to his village with Tuda, and oh, that's right, they need healing. That's right. And Mua. He follows the flame champion. Quest complete. Goes home and gets married. And Jimba? Dead. Remember, he dead. Yuri goes back to Amakadon and lives a peaceful life along with Yumi. And of course, Yoon is dead. She's just dead. Period. The end. Sad that we got two dead people in that one. But even if they're dead, they're still part of the 108 stars. They're dead inevitably as part of the story. You couldn't save them. It's not like it's not a Grammyo situation. It's not an Inami situation. Anyway, thanks to Tazurai, who joins the uh, Frontier Force and still can't decide about that right hand rune, man. Queen following him around, and so is Ace. And then, looks like Joker continues nonetheless. That's the Joker for you. What a lame ending for him. Jock plans to fabricate an even more powerful bowgun. That's boring. 
Ayla, Geta refuses to let her join, but lets her accompany them as a trainee. Okay. Duke heads south on a new mission, hoping for a rematch. Elaine, found, bound with Duke, no, not gonna quit. Gao goes out on a military trip and often returns to Clary to help Duke, okay. Nicholas goes with Duke as well. Watari leaves after his contract's up, and Ayame, right in tow, chasing him down. Who else we got? Estella! <laughs> She's going to find the 109th star. Got it. And Rhodey, following her around. Still can't fly, though. And Bartz goes back to Ixay Village. Back to farming. Big fucking surprise, right? Arthur, still looking around for headlines. Kid, responds to the request to solve the kidnapping lady of the Black Rose Society in, the, in an obscure nation. I wonder what nation that is. And Nadir, the Theater Orange Castle sells out for Flame Champions to have performed there, which he actually hasn't yet. I didn't actually do that, did I? I never did do the do the plays. Oh well. Wow, Ruby has a bunch of babies. Nice. Iku decides she wants to live with friends, and friends basically still trying to work on being second class citizens. I thought they would have given up on being Harmonians. Why don't they just go back to being Grasslanders? What's the point? Thomas, aided by Salami, gains free trade zone for Orange Castle, still serves as Lord. Sebastian still is assistant, and Cecile still a captain of the guard with three subordinates, including Thomas. They keep Orange Castle alive. Juan, as the population increases, so do the pupils. But second, Master Emily does the teaching, because she's badass and you're not as badass, Juan. Piccolo boasts of the people of the castle, great wizard. He tells them how to win. Uh, Martha's always smiling. Mudo, busy guy. He always gives the wrong goods, though. <laughs> Ike... He, he runs the SRS, sometimes deep beast, t hanging out in the deep basement. He's doing fine. Gotta love that one about the dog. Anyway, Nay, Topo, and Shaban go back to traveling. Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, all that they go back to doing their thing. Kenji, you opened a gymnastics school at Orange Castle, and they dance around <laughs> with yoga. Wan Fu's gonna go avenge a friend. That's interesting. Goro loses to his dad in a bath match. He then goes off to find materials. Okay. Billy, Melville gets a hold of him and takes him back to Venado Sexe. Okay. Kathy's still running the ranch at Orange Castle and she's been holding horse races. Big surprise. Yame sucks me in an appraiser. Period. Melville takes his dad back to Venado Sexe. Alanis, she goes north with her family. Aww. And Elliot. Okay. Just goes back with Melville, I guess. Pretty much. They're just kids, man. They got time. They got time. Anyway, I don't think that was all the stars, right? We still got one more set of them? I think so. That's right. Apple. When the biography of her teacher is done and Caesar is gone, she opens a school in her hometown. And then Caesar, painfully aware of Albert's superior talent, sets off on his own voyage. Albert is said to he serves bravely in Harmonia's army, but is a strategist for a great power on another continent. Truth? Huh? Anyway, Edge. To defeat a foe sought by the Star Dragon's Army, he goes on a voyage south. Landis disappears, unknown. And Sanai finishes her military training prior to getting married. Returns to Danon, okay. Vicky, at the victory banquet, she announces she'll teleport everyone back to their hometowns. She and her guests teleport. And another little Vicky chasing the elder Vicky, okay. And then Hortez the Seventh sets off by ship from Vinay to open a shop in Holy Harmonia, okay. Jean, Jean goes back to Brass Castle, goes back to being a ruined sage there. Tuta goes with Halek to his town. We already heard about that, and it looks like Mio accompanies him. Emily becomes second master to Juan, but she's more badass than him, so big surprise. Bell goes off with Gadget Z. That's pretty much all there is to that. We didn't even use them. Futch rejoined the Dragon Knights, studying to get third re degree rank. All right. And Sharon is the new Dragon Knights ceremony. Oh, she got a golden dragon. That's pretty sick. And, of course, Futch, right... Dragon. Uh, Sazerai goes back to Harmonia to be the bishop still. Cool. Dios is still his chief of staff, and Nash, God, just fucking God. Uber, there's a rumor he's been seen among the deformed creatures that sprang forth from the crumbling ruins. Still alive. Sarah, caressing her one and only love, the only one who understands her. She is lonely but content. And last but not least, we got Luke, who vanishes from the histories of Harmonia, but he is remembered as the one who defied fate. Now, if you didn't notice, Uber 
Sarah, Luke, and Albert all counted as stars of destiny there. Don't know if you caught that. And I guess this is our ending screen since Hugo was our flame champion. Pretty sure the ending screen's different depending on who you uh who you picked as your flame champion. So this is ours, because we picked Hugo. So yeah, there you go. Have at you. But yeah, like I said, notice how Luke, Albert, when I say Sarah and Uber, the last four stars of destiny were actually them. They counted as stars of destiny. So that means we did it, guys. We got 108 stars. But what's our bonus for that? Well, if you press X to get past this screen, maybe we'll find out. Back to this screen, huh? Hey, remember when I said there'd be a six flame on this screen? Boom, motherfuckers! It's Luke! Yep, it's Luke. And guess what? In the next episode... What? A next episode? Yeah, you heard the funk. Yeah, there's going to be a next episode. It's gonna, We'll call it a bonus episode because that was technically the finale of the game. You don't technically get the Sixth Flame if you didn't get all 108 Stars of Destiny. But because I did, here's our bonus. Extra story stuff. We get to play as Luke and friends. Yeah, I said friends. But anyways, we're going to save that for a bonus episode or two. It probably is going to take at least an hour's worth of playing to do the whole thing. So it might be more than one bonus episode. Either way, that's going to wrap up the main LP of Sukaden 3. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love this series. We will get to Sukaden 4 eventually. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have, I'm not in a hurry because Sukaden 4 is nowhere near as good as Sukaden 1, 2, 3. In fact, it's the worst one, I got to say. But it's on my road to get to Sukaden 5, which I still have yet to play, and I really, really want to play it. But I wanted to play all the other ones first because I hadn't played them in a long time. Anyways, like I said, that's the end of the main story of the LP. We got a couple bonus episodes on your in, on your way of this loot content. And then after that, we'll see the real credits, I think, because we didn't get to see the real credits. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next episode or on something else if you don't want to watch the epilogue stuff. So see you guys later. Peace!